Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just coming to you with a wig review on the unit that I have on and I just wanna make two disclaimers really quick. One, I am sitting near my window in my apartment so the light is kinda going in and out because I just prefer to use natural light when I can. So if the lighting kinda changes or maybe gets a little lighter or darker, um, that's why. And two, I do have on clothes. <laughs> this is not a towel or a robe or a toga. It's a strapless dress. So just getting into it, the wig that I am wearing is the Sensational Bump wig in the style Easy 27 and the color is Champagne. So this is just what the card looks like. That's what the model looks like on the card. And of course that's the color. And I think the color that I have is the actual color that she's wearing too. So Y'all know I don't do wigs straight out the box. I just, I gotta fix them to my liking. I have to tailor them, curl them, whatever. And it's really good with this wig because it is 100% human hair. Like, what? Normally a lot of my units that I wear are synthetic, but they are always heat resistant up to like 350, 400 degrees. But this one is really cool because it's all the way 100% human hair, so you really don't have that worry, I wanna say. It's a little bit easier to wash, um, to maintenance, to color if you would like. So I really had to play with mine before I really got comfortable with it. The style that it came in, when I saw it on somebody else, I was like, yes, that is cute, let's do it. And then I got it and I was like, why did I buy this? <laughs> it just wasn't the way that I liked it when I took it straight out the box. Um, I had to curl it, so I curled mine forward and I just had my flat iron on like 400 degrees. And I just took, like I said, the little layers. It is cut in really nice layers, I will say that. And I just curled it forward and then kind of messed with it with my hands. And I figured out the best way to use this unit is to kind of just mess with it and maneuver it with your hands or a small comb. Um, a large brush, or like a large paddle brush, really won't do you justice with this wig. So, I mean, you can use it, of course, if you still want to, but I just prefer a small tooth comb or your fingers because it really just gets those little bitty hairs in the places that you want them. This is the box that it came in as well. And then it also came in this little plastic packaging. So this box was inside of this. And then of course it came with the little card. And I bought mine from where I buy all of my wigs pretty much, Sam's Beauty. And I wanna say, I have the receipt right here with me. I paid $17.99 for the wig itself, and my shipping, which I still believe to be a little ungodly, was $11.33. So my total overall came out to be $29.32, which is not bad considering a lot of the wigs that I've been seeing lately are $35 by themselves. Now I ordered the wig on, I wanna say like a Tuesday, and it got to me on a Friday. So it came really fast, and I didn't pay for two day shipping, obviously. I just did standard shipping. They had many different styles. Of course they had the classic 1B, the two, the four, and then they had the 430 mix. Um, of course champagne with the honey kind of blonde highlights. So there's a lot of variety. I know I saw a fire red in there too. I went and bought the biggest hoops of my life. I have never had hoops this big because of this hair. And it just, I think it looks really good with it. And the hair period just allows you to be a little bit more bold, a little bit more out there. So I'm gonna go ahead now and do a 360 view so you can see how the hair looks from different angles. I know I took some of the hair and tucked it behind my ears so I could kind of have like that sideburn effect. 
and then like I said all I did was curl it forward and then just mess with it with my hands you can choose to move the hair to either side of your face or you can gather it all up in the front or in the middle you can spike it up it just depends on what you prefer but like I said, it's very versatile, so you don't have to be constricted to one specific style, like with the wig where you would have maybe an invisible part and you can only move it to one side or the other. It's one of those wigs that's really kind of hard to mess up. I am natural under this wig. My hair is in braids. So I just take my Gorilla Snot Gel on a toothbrush or a hard brush will work too. I slick up the back side so that there's no excess hair hanging out. You want it to look really polished. And I do the same on my edges as well. So I kind of have a little bit of my edge out in this area, but I put it down as best as I could so that it would lay smooth and flat. So I would say that this would be a great wig for work. Um, if you're just looking to try out short hair, but you do not want to do the chop, such as myself. <laughs> This personally reminds me of my mom in the 90s when she had her shortcut and it's really, I don't know, it's really sophisticated. It's so grown looking. You can't go wrong with a short wig and I don't think you can go wrong with this one. So once again, this is the Sensational Bump Wig from the Bump Wig Collection, the Easy 27 piece and if you're looking to get your knee along, yeah, Tony Braxton circa 1997 on, definitely try this wig. It is gorgeous and it is very easy to work with, like I said. Well, thank you guys so much for your time and your attention and I hope I helped somebody. Um, I hope that you would try this wig out and just give it a chance. Um, it's something that's really edgy, really cool, really feisty, really fun. So if that's what you're looking to do, this would be great. And it's just a wig, if you figure out you don't like it, just snatch it off and try something else. Be blessed and stay beautiful. Bye guys.